The man in the car is a lawyer from Florida. Mark, shocking Florida. <laughs> and and my, Mark, I, I, full disclosure, I got it. So before we start poking at Florida, I want you to know that I love Florida. I've always had a great time there. I have wonderful yes. friends from Florida. I love you, Mark. We love you too. But I'll be damned if every yeah. time we deal with a jacked up environment, it's not Florida. <laughs> jacked up. <laughs> in, in this case, let me just say this. I don't disagree with you. I practice in this area. Ooh. And what's his next step? Step number two, if you're ever accused of DUI and the cop looks at you and says, you have slurred speech, step two, he tells you, look at the cop dead in the eye and say, it's not slurred speech. I'm speaking in cursive. Seriously? You're, you're no. making fun. Well, point, a, okay, all right, <laughs> fair enough. I'm, I'm, you're over I'm, our I'm head, I'm Mark. Joking, but that's how stupid it is. Okay, that's well, how well, ridiculous well, Sam, this is. Why did that they shoot this work. video? What, what did that he want to do? Work. Uh, what does he hope to accomplish? Okay, ouch, Mark. Um, all right, so we did reach out to him, and this is what he told us, Dr. Drew. Quote, the method used in the video and their fair DUI book were inspired by the mistakes clients make that hurt our efforts to defend oh. them. Too many innocent people are wrongly arrested and prosecuted for DUI. And Mark, a lot of what they're looking for is uh, eye movements, you know, with something called nystagmus when you look up to the periphery, and that's a good sign that you had a little Horizontal too much. Horizontal gaze nystagmus. Yeah. Yes, but let's talk about reality. It worked in this one instance, okay? In reality, I know these cops in this area, and I don't think that they're different in other parts of the country. You have this little thing hanging down. These cops can go, put your damn window down. And you know what? This is good for his business because he's going to have a lot of people getting arrested because they're going to think, no, I, I gave you all the information. I don't have to do anything. And Please, Deneen, this is I, Deneen, I'm remembering that one situation with that couple in the car with the kids where they wouldn't roll the window down. The cops right. busted the window they in and tased the, the guy. Up. Yeah. And honestly, I mean, I'd like to ask Mark, how many people are wrongfully arrested and convicted for DUI? Where I work, you have to either have a blood test, a urine test, or, you know, you, you have to have it's, some it's gotta be something about Florida. So how often does it happen I'll, I'll that people are wrongly question. arrested and convicted? First of all, all of my clients. Let's start there. <laughs> I'm kidding. Number two, number two, no, it, it, it definitely, listen, I understand his motives. It definitely happens. There are good, you know, there's good doctors, there's good bakers, there's good plumbers, and there's some bad ones. And there are cops who I have had um, dealings with who absolutely swear under the penalties of perjury that one of my clients is impaired, and then we get the blood results back, or the breath comes back, and it's zero, zero, zero. So they make mistakes. But then He's who cares? Right, the best way not, convicted. not to get arrested. They're not convicted then. Who cares? So, so you go oh, no, they, they get No, 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 no. Because they get arrested. He's trying to tell you, I'm not defending his actions, but what the attorney's telling you is how to avoid getting arrested. Because you get arrested and then your case gets dropped later down the road. They still arrest you. They don't unarrest you. Now, Spirit, but the answer is don't drink and drive. Yeah, exactly. Of course. Answer. And Spirit, my yeah, question is, does this encourage people to try to get around drunk driving? Is that endangering people? No, because people are going to do what no. they're going to do regardless. And you have to remember also that this is a checkpoint. This is for individuals who haven't done anything. They haven't violated the law. This is not the person that's coming up to the road, swerving and moving all in ways that are going to make the police be able to say, roll right. down your window or step out of your vehicle. Yeah. So this is this man saying, let me show you how not to incriminate yourself. And I think it says a lot when now we have lawyers and people who are affluent now saying, we need to protect ourselves from the laws and from the people that are there to protect us. Oh, they, listen, when it comes to drugs and alcohol, trust me, my pa my patients and the people I've dealt with are very creative. Oh, <laughs> they're they're experts sure they at this stuff, trust right, me. Right, the Wizenator, now, Doctor, the, the, we, we brought that up. That the Wizenator, okay, <laughs> here we go, Mark. Yeah, you get ready for that. Uh, but <laughs> the, this gentleman, shades, the, I know. the attorney yeah. that uh, is in this video is not drunk, of course. He's not, uh, listen, there's not, nothing wrong with what he's doing.